Hello, I'm Matchmove04, and I am back on the Casecraft server. So if you recognize where I'm at right now, I'm actually at my uh, hedge maze, hidden map. And there's a very good reason for that. So, uh, last time we played, I actually learned a lot of, like, kind of little glitches in my planning. And I thought I would get back on here. And before we play another game of it, that I would uh, fix a few things up because, oh man, they went through, they destroyed this place. And I fixed it all up, like, uh, the hedge is all fine. Uh, there's no holes in it anymore, <laughs> or random blocks placed. Uh, but I want, I kind of learned something. So what I learned is, at the end of the game, they kind of just threw all this stuff in random chests, right? And when they kind of, they looted, they looted everything. Um, so in this episode, I kind of want to set up an automatic, like, restocking of the chest after like for every game so probably have like two minutes they're gonna just automatically restock and that's not an easy task because I'll show you what I'm gonna probably have to do if you see my dirt from getting up there <laughs> what I'm gonna have to do is do a similar thing like I did to this because all this is gonna do is pulse whatever's in here into a chest instead of on the person um, this is actually one thing I'm not going to have to change because it worked it worked very well it armored us up every time. I'm probably going to have to add more inventory onto it because everybody wanted to be like one class. And I'm going to have to rebalance out the healer because apparently everyone told me it was a worthless class. <laughs> um, so it's going to be like this. I need to do this for one of these pretty much for every single chest. And I'm going to have to add... I'm going to have to add... I'm going to have to add a, uh, a clock. So every two... When it empties out, the chest is empty it goes through a two minute clock and it's gonna pulse how many ever times I want to fill the chest back up with random items. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'll kind of walk you through uh, me doing that a little bit because I'm not a big redstone on camera person. It's a little bit of grindiness because I'm gonna have to do the same thing for like probably 15 chests. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. I had to pick up that block. All right, so before we get to that, all that, all that hard work, um, I, there was another thing I also learned, okay? <clears throat> so, w before we even started the game, even after the game, we were getting murdered through this very dangerous dark forest. Um, I can easily fix that with one of the new snapshot things. Well, actually, it's we're in full release right now. That's amazing. So what I'm going to do is I brought a ton of saplings and a ton of bone meal. Also a ton of dark oak wood and you're wondering what are you gonna do with all that so i'm gonna grow a bunch more trees and trust me that's gonna make us safer <laughs> so the closer the trees are together i can just like uh let me see i'll make some fences and i'll show you so we're gonna make a ton of wood like all of the wood just like that and then oh gosh i have to remember how to make <laughs> how to make fences there we go so what we're gonna do is we're going to put a bunch more trees so they're way closer together and if you see like this only has like two we're just going to go boom, boom. They can't get through. And it matches in. And it's still dark and spooky. And at certain angles, you can't even see the fences. It's amazing. Um, this is going to make it so much safer. See, like, this is only, like, one here. Maybe we'll even do, like, a little corner piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I am just have to do that to this entire area. And kind of leave it, like, fenced in but still look a little open. Like, I'm not going to put fence right here because it's way too close. So I'm going to go back here and maybe put one... Oh, I'll probably put like another tree right here and close it in a little bit more. Yeah, so I could cover like between these. Because I don't want to put more than like three fences down. So like this. Boom, boom, boom. That area is safe, right? I'll probably put another tree here. This is my workshop area. I sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it's going to be great. So we're going to be much safer. Uh, I, the chests are going to restock. It's going to be great. And then we're going to get a bunch of the guys on and we're going to play it again. And uh, hopefully it'll go better this time because people actually will probably get on a server and play a little bit of hidden so people actually know how to play. Because when Drake actually played it, uh, he was really good at it because he knew not to charge and die right away. <laughs> I got it on pretty good. So I'm going to start putting fences up everywhere and growing some more trees and I'm going to be right back. Alright, so <laughs> I was working on this and I'm actually under attack. So this is the exact reason... There we go, I killed them all off. He was the lone survivor. Um, I kind of wanted to show you, I didn't get too much done before I was getting murdered. And I forgot to put my armor on. <laughs> but I wanted to show you a little bit what I did. So this is the one I put down before. Oh, get this crud out of here. I am completely full, by the way. <laughs> and I had to put a little fence gate right here. And this one's a little close for my liking. But uh, this is a necessary thing to get down into there. So we'll put a trap door right there, it'll be fine. 
Um, but over here, I actually had to add another tree. And that actually is kind of a little cool, like, nook area. So I thought we would just close this off. So where are we closed off at? So we could do one right here. Oh, I'm being attacked again. The spiders have learned our technology. <laughs> and then we should probably put... Hmm, we don't need one right there, but we can put one like right. Oh man, this boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's how close to the other they are that I can just put one down. That's amazing. So maybe even like a piece of dirt. Might have to do a little bit of terraforming. Just do like that. They'd probably be able to jump over this though. So easy fix. Oh, this looks like a mess. There we go. Let's fix this. There we go. Easy fix. And then it's kind of back. It you can't even see it. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So, oh, see, if he wouldn't be able to get to us. <laughs> this is what we're trying to avoid here. So, uh, let's just get finish this off a little bit, and then I'm going to finish the rest off camera. But I thought you guys would like to see the process and me almost dying as I'm doing this. <laughs> so I've got in this area. I don't. I could easily just cut this off right here, but this is so close. I don't want to really do that. So I put another tree right here, and then I think we could even. Let's see, is this a little close to do... Oh man, we're going to have to do five? Oh gosh, that's so many. But it's off in the back, so that's fine. It's very good. It's a weird, like... Uh, it's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Like weird fencing, tree to tree. I probably am adding way too many. Like this is completely unnecessary now. <laughs> but it's kind of cool looking. It's just a little bit of more decoration. Ah, I'm being attacked over here. We found a weakness. Um, a ton of more trees need to go over here. Because maybe, maybe we can get a few between here. Let's do... Oh, God. I'm dying. Oh, God. <laughs> get fenced. Ha-ha. Eh. Oh, gosh. Spiders don't care. They don't care at all. And then if we just put... Boom. One like that. They shouldn't be able to get through here. And it's hidden. For the hidden map. That's, isn't that cool? <laughs> all right. So, I'm kind of done with that right now. And we are completely clogged in our inventory. Um, yes, we need to go to sleep. And then we need to eat our food, because I'm starving to death here, and I need to heal. And then we kind of need to move on to the next pot. And this is a little bit more redstone. I'm not going to show all of it on camera, but uh, I'm going to go to sleep. Let's do this. I'm not going to cut this time. I'm just going to sleep. Hello, I'm sleeping. <laughs> this is what we do off camera. We sleep. There we go. We wake up. And let's get a bunch of this stuff. Maybe we can put a, more f a few more fences down, like this. Boom, boom, boom. And I definitely need to grow more trees over here. But that'll kind of come with the territory of... Man, it kind of opens up a little bit, doesn't it? These are, I just don't slap trees down. I kind of want to go for a look. You see how it's like bigger and more wide open and then it kind of narrows down a little bit? That's what I'm going for. There we go. And I'm putting a lot of work into this. So we only played on this map actually once. <laughs> And I, I even said, I'm going to put a lot of work into this map, but we're not... Oh, we don't need flowers. Come on, that's too nice for this place. Too fancy and bright. Um, I'm not. We're not going to just play on this map once, <laughs> because I, I think it's fun. Last time we had a good time. Um, let's actually go... Look, there's... She's still here, the witch. Uh, what was her name again? Oh, gosh, it was Death Machine. <laughs> Ryu helped me catch her. It was pretty funny. And I want to show you also a little thing I did. A couple days ago, actually, and I fixed the problem. So in the recording, um, we kept having a problem with the random selector where the first one and the last one, some reason, light up together. But actually, let's try it out again. And I think it was because I also messed with it because I was hitting the wrong ones. And I switched this to a lever to uh, stop it. So let's see. Before, I had a T flip flop, and that was disaster. So here we go. It's a little laggy because of the redstone, but then we do, we flip the lever, and don't embarrass me. There we go. See, one of them selected. <laughs> and then whoever's player one is going to be the hidden, and then they fight the rest of them, the rest from uh, armor up. It's going to be great. <laughs> and then what we can do is we can actually, if that person doesn't want to be the hidden, you unclick it, and then please don't be the same one. Yes, there we go. Amazing. <laughs> First take. <laughs> All right, so let's get down here and I will show you what I did. Uh, what happened before is I pretty much didn't change anything down here. I just added one light right here. You see this doesn't go to anywhere. So it's still possible. I don't know why, but it's actually I extended this by one also. And it's still possible for the first and last one to light up. But if the first one right here lights up, right? And the last one lights up right here, this one's not going to do anything. So it'll just be the first one. 
amazing technology. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, this just goes around locks into one of the, the signals and I fell in a hole that I definitely should not have fallen into. <laughs> I don't have a ladder on me. Hello? We're gonna have to, oh God. If we break one piece, we're gonna have to break a lot. Here we go. This is it. Aha, I made it out successfully. <laughs> I was very scared when I fell in that hole. Um, and I also removed the T flip flops and I would just, there's a bed down here too. I have a lot of beds around here. <laughs> I'll show you the other bed actually. And what this one is, is, yeah, oh, I have my axe on me. I can't show you. There we go. I kind of put, I kind of closed in a little bit. And that's lights up because all that is is just a piston with some slime blocks. It goes all the way down and it just, this one actually is a different switch. So one switch is the on and off for the selecting and this one just goes down and then comes back up for setting this off. Because I could actually just turn it off if uh, I'm going to break this and then we break this. So it should just drain out, boom, and then it'll lock in. <laughs> it'll lock on nothing. Um, yeah, so I hope you understood that redstonery. There we go. I saw it on somewhere on YouTube. That's where I got the idea of it. I kind of like, I take other people's designs and then I kind of just, I magic man them up. <laughs> I have no idea, but I don't think you can really give credit to you, like uh, redstoners anymore. Just everybody kind of uses the same designs and changes them a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. As long as everything's fun to play. I don't know. That might be a little too close. I'll probably add another, like, tree right here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm out of fences. I have brought a ton of wood, though. Oh, yeah, that's way too close. I'm going to have to hide it back there some more. Because look at that. You can barely see the fences. That's what I'm going for. But safety. Safety is the key. Um, I'm going to dump a bunch of this garbage off. And I brought a ton of... Let's get out of this. I got a ton of redstonery stuff for this project, and I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of cuts and showing you progress. Oh, also, before we do that, I wanna show you, I, this was my regular banner, right? This is my original one. It's like a spider, it's all evil. And if you see why I have different textures, and this banner looks slightly different, look more cleaner, it's because I'm using the Faithful, uh, there was like a 1.8 patch one or whatever, I don't know idea. <laughs> but it brought in the new blocks. I don't think I have any new blocks around here though. Oh, and also in the uh, the snapshotty video, I forgot to show you cracked bricks, and I'm also going to put that in here, but I cooked some up. I think I left them at my house, though, so I'll probably have to do that like the end of the video. Just throw in like a random cracked brick. You just got to cook up. Uh... Oh, look, here's a new one. So I have used some of the new ones, but I forgot to use them in this, so I'll probably like, throw once in a while, throw a cracked one in. Um, and here's the new banner. I kind of made it matching that one so I can use them both. And boom, it's an M. That's so cool. I'm going to eat while I'm looking at them. <laughs> I'm admiring them with pumpkin pie and I kind of I kept the same little design here it's really cool so I'm using I have two banners I'm very greedy <laughs> some places some countries have no banners all right all right let's get rid of this <laughs> let's get away from that subject okay so let's oh these are so oh and I found my silk touch shears and I have two amazing I forgot I left them here like 10 years ago probably like the day before we actually did the first hidden game map I left them here <laughs> Um, I didn't gather all these resources, okay, I don't need that, I need a ton of these though, okay, buttons, buttons are always helpful, and I'm kind of set up a little bit, so what I showed you underneath here, which is literally one block down, very dangerous, um, creepers, that's why I definitely need to secure this up, because a creeper blew up right here, it pretty much broke the entire healer class, and I had to refix it, and uh, let's go over here, and I'll show you kind of where some of the chests are, oh look, my other, my other bed, <laughs> How many beds? If you guys can count all the beds, you'll win a prize of nothing, um, which is three. I just, hey, what do I win? Um, <laughs> look, there's a chest right here, and I kind of already set one up of what I'm going to do of the little area. Pretty much, I'm trapped. Eh, we gotta break our way out. <laughs> and then hopefully, can I, oh, our horse can save us. Let's see if this works. Jump, oh man, he's a big jumper. I love this horse, I need to name him actually. Put in the comments what I should name my horse. He's a jumper and he's super fast. And I'm not sure if I want to do shadow facts because that's single playerness. That's when I find the horse eventually, <laughs> which the series is coming back, so that's amazing. Um, quest for a horse, I'm gonna name him shadow facts, but uh, I don't want to do that for that one. I don't know, you should tell me what to name it. Thank you. If you made it this far in the video, tell me what to name it. <laughs> comments, interactiveness. What was I going to do again? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the other spot that I've already uh, set up. We need a shovel. I kind of showed you before you saw the dirt. And if I don't get lost in my own maze here, the chest should be right here. 
and then let's get down here. Oh, this so shovel's amazing. So I dug out a giant area, and this is gravel. Oh my god, that annoyed me so much. And the, this is the lighting for the entire map. <laughs> All hidden. And this is my area to work with here. So, our goal is... Oh, shoot. We'll just use dirt right now. What we need to do is we need to do a comparator, right? And let's get rid of this. Let's put that right there. And like that. Because we need to do a corner comparator thingy majigger. You'll see. It all will make sense in time. <laughs> so like this. And then like this. So we probably need our shears that I luckily smart person brought. And we need to break this block. Because I need out of here. Please help me out. And then we need to take our comparator. And that's going to tell... Pretty much that's going to tell us when the chest is empty so it's going to give off a signal and then i'll just reverse it so it'll give off when they take all they loot everything so if they leave like one torch in there i'm screwed but i'm pretty sure they'll just go and shift click everything out of there which i'm hoping <laughs> i'm kind of dumb proofing it which is fine if i'm playing it it should definitely be dumb proofed and then we're just going to put one piece of redstone right here and this is actually very hard to set up the wiring so that it would be covered in just the hedge part because if it's any piece of it like that is exposed on top out here I'd have to use carpet and that looks so ugly um, I did not think about the gravel and I kept falling on my head when I was digging up the area there we go so let's get down here and we see oh gosh this is gonna be tight quarters but now that we have that piece it's lit up we need to carry the signal which will be just fine because we can break all of the wood and then we can just carry the signal downwards and this is probably where I'm going to mess up. There we go. So now that we have the signal, uh, that'll be the trigger for it. Um, let me see. Now what we need to do is we need to set up the thingy majigger like this. I'm really glad I use technical terms, aren't you? <laughs> we have wood on us. Wood will work. And then we use a dropper. It's definitely not going to go over here. I'm going to have to figure out exactly the spacing. But we put up some wood. And boom. You go into you, and then this is redstone right here. It involves logs. No. <laughs> there we go. So this is going to cycle through, and then we're going to have six or five or whatever, because a hopper only holds five. So we're going to have like, or maybe we'll have six. Hmm. I'm not sure, because it'll be random, so I could have as many as I want in the chest, actually. So maybe like, I'll put a ton of arrows in, so it'll be like four arrows and like a sword and a, a milk bucket or something. And then we're just going to wire this all up, and we're going to... Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to finish it tonight, and then you'll see it when I cut. But uh, it should cycle through here, send the send six signals uh, off to whatever I'm going to have to go underneath here and do like a line of droppers or whatever, and insert it into the chest, and it'll be good. So I'm, you're actually going to have the easy work of just waiting five seconds for me to dispenser pillar out of here <laughs> and i'm gonna have hours of work probably figuring this the heck out and i'm going to be right back all right it's been so long <laughs> i'm finally back so if you see out here i actually have this place pretty secured um funny story right here i finished all of the fences I was very happy with myself. Uh, it's pretty much all the way fenced up everywhere around. And then a creeper blows me up. So I'm going to figure out how to hide lighting inside of the area. Because <laughs> it's pretty much useless. If, well, in this giant open area right here. Maybe I'll do like a uh, like a, an entrance fee area. I don't know. That's kind of what that is, isn't it? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll probably just light up this little area so it's safer. It's not completely safe. Um, all right. So let me show you what I've done. Oh gosh, this was a disaster zone. <laughs> oh, I got lost where I was going for a second. And I finally finished the redstone for this thing, and oh boy, was this fun to do. So, okay, hopefully this will work. I'll show you first, I'll show you the redstone. Oh, okay, let's let's pretend, let's roleplay here. So I'm running away, I'm about to get murdered, oh gosh, let's go loot this. And then, oh man, there's some fancy things in here. So, it, 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 grab it all up, and... You hear the clicking noise. So I haven't set the the clock yet to time it. So it should automatically fill it up. And boom, seven. And let me explain why that's seven. So let's head back down here. Head back down here. Well, I suppose we were down here earlier. So this is the redstone. <laughs> it, it was not fun. And it meant, like pretty much all of the area I dug, I had to dig more. I needed more. Um, 
this was interesting, and I had to go all the way to my house to get some wool so I could actually see where the redstone is going. <laughs> and this is the main, like, brain of it right here. So this is actually what Pulse is. All this over here does, this entire thing just turns... I actually did a tutorial on this uh, on my channel, but all it turns is that signal, that constant signal into a pulse. That's it. And then it pulses this, and that just activates this and sends multiple pulses. Uh, if you see in here, there's actually seven wool. I'm not trying to make this a tutorial, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so this is going to define how many pulses we do. So let's say we put one, two, three, three in here, okay? So that's how many items are going to get pulsed from here, uh, which I just had this. So we'll just put that's arrows, okay? And it's right. It's not putting in there because it's actually getting a signal of having something in there, and then it reverses right here. So, yay, redstone! <laughs> um, I can actually completely fill this up. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oop, gotta get out of there. And then 14, 23. So I have 23 slots. I can always expand that. But uh, it pulses this which pulses this it's all magicness <laughs> this is pretty much it just uh kind of just brings it into there um and then so we put what do we put three in there did i say so let's take this out and then immediately should restock it back up but i can't i think i want to put a delay on it so it's like a minute or two and and uh oh <laughs> i just did it oh my gosh okay maybe it'll do three now so it's not, I don't know if it's not 100% or I messed something up. We'll see. It's three now. Okay, let's try it again. Redstone can be kind of interesting sometimes. That was three. That means there should be three in here. Okay, maybe I opened the chest too early. Maybe that's a, uh, I don't think it's a, what kind of a chest is that? Eh, I can't see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's working fine. Let's put, let's mix it up again. Let's do 11. Oh man, so many pulses. All right, and then we should take this out. And then when we look back in there, if you're seeing, I kind of want to show you, if you saw that was the pulse, and then it sent this, and then boop, 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 and it's doing 11 pulses, which is going into this, and some magicalness, this is pulsing, and then activating this. So if we look in here, that's four. So it's broken. It's <laughs> I'm going to have to see what the heck just happened. Are you kidding me? I know how to do redstone, people. Two, three... Four, five. Whoa, <laughs> that might be server lag. I'm not sure. I might have to uh, delay it a little bit more. Let's see how many's in there. Absolutely none, cause we're. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Okay, one more time. I got this. Oh, I'm I'm breaking something. I'm not even sure what's happening right now. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I forgot to count. Uh, seven. I don't remember how many that was. We're just going to eat pie and hopefully hope for the best. Oh, it's still going. 11! Woo! So it works some of the time. <laughs> oh man, it's doing it again. Okay, so it's just going to keep cycling through. Let's get the heck out of here. I don't know if it's server lag or something, but it works some of the time. And that's what matters to me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to have to tinker with that a little bit more. That's kind of just like a, a rough version. I have to like fancy it up. And then I have to do about probably eight more times throughout the entire map. So yay! <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know how to do redstone. Please don't say I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, I'm not a noob. Okay, so I'm going to end that here. I'm just rambling. Thank you for watching. I'm Magimafo4. Comment and subscribe if you want to. And I know how to do redstone. Stop it. <laughs> Bye!